Hello, welcome to the second webinar for art. And we're going to look at Anthony Gaudi. I'm going to talk you through uh, some of his famous architectural designs. And then also, we're then going to talk about how you could actually develop your own designs and thinking about the kind of decoration that you would use on them. So Anthony Gaudi was a Spanish architect who was born in 1852 and he died in 1926. And he created fantastic buildings based on organic forms and Art Nouveau, which, which was an art movement, which meant new art um, in the early part of the 1900s. Um, he only built his buildings in Barcelona and they were often very decorative with walls covered in mosaics and colored glass as well. Some of his famous buildings that, that we have here, uh, this is probably one of the most famous. It's a cathedral called Sagrada Familia, which is in Barcelona. And the most stunning thing about this is the fact that it is still being completed, even though Gaudi died in 1926. Uh, it's such a detailed, building and if you ever see it you, you can see how the stonework is different colors in different places because it's aged because this part here is getting close to 100 years old and uh, whereas this part here is quite recent and so it is still a building site and i believe there's still probably another possibly another 12 years before it's actually completed fully um uh, but again it's an absolutely incredible design where it looks almost organic, like things are sort of dripping off or it's melting in places. And uh, it's very it's sort of stunning to see. Uh, that's a picture of it in the skyline against the other, the other buildings in Barcelona. And another view there. <clears throat> so again, you can see all the detail. This has all been made out of stone and brick and you can just see sort of all the texture and detail which are probably on it in the different parts. Um, so it's cathedral and it was started in 1882 and it's estimated to be completed in 2026. Decorations are expected to be finished in 2032. So you can see that it, it would be sort of quite uh, a long time before that is completed. I'm going to show you a short video just about the Sagrada Familia where you can see some uh, in detail some uh, different parts of the building, uh, particularly inside of it.
Okay, so as well as Sagrada Familia, there you had a lot of opportunity to see some of his other buildings and just see, especially how he decorated the buildings with the mosaics. And so, as the man said in the video, that they're made up of lots of different tiles and ceramics and plates and a different source material like that. And if you ever go to the park, uh, the park well, you can actually see sort of the individual little tiles, all the different patterns on there. Um, he, he uses this on the outside of the buildings as well, so you can also see on some of these these famous buildings uh, and on the roof as well, and also there. So you can see that there's an influence of organic forms in his work as well, and this idea of using curves rather than straight lines to actually to make make the pictures. So in school and in the work that we set over the, the lockdown period, we did look at how you could create your own design inspired by natural forms. Now, the idea is not to make it look like there is uh, an item of fruit or a vegetable stuck on top of a building. It's to use that as a starting point and then to develop that further into a structure or something that would actually work and as with Gaudi's, as with the, the, the building where it looked like it had a dragon on the roof. It, obviously, it wasn't a dragon, but it sort of invoked that in the shapes and the patterns that were on there. So for this exercise, uh, on Show My Homework, you were given sort of the task to draw, draw uh, either fruit or veg from the top and looking at a certain section and thinking about the size of it as well. So it correlated with a building that you could add it. To. So this is the top of a courgette, or it could be the top of a like that. Again, really thinking about those sketching skills. So at the moment, it is looking like either the fruit or the vegetable. So we are picking up the accurate shapes. Then if you can get the sizes to correlate, you could then experiment with adding that to an existing building and so i chose uh radcliffe camera in oxford and the idea that you can actually sort of add it to the roof to replace the old one and just imagine what would it look like if such a structure had this sort of curved tower on top of it instead of the dome that it's actually built out now the next step would then be to develop it further to start to think of it as an actual a viable structure so as i said before so it doesn't look like uh like an item of fruit stuck on top of the building so to do that you could draw the, the original building first so you could sketch that out and then have a go at redrawing the top of the building uh maybe uh with this one here i thought about keeping the outside shape and sort of the curves which i could see on the stalk of the courgette uh, but then actually starting to imagine how would it look like if it was a natural structure. So, for example, I thought the flat roof on top of that stalk wouldn't quite look right. So I added uh, the pointed roof to it. And then I also thought about what did those curved sections here on the stalk remind me of? And I thought about could that be like stained glass? So imagining inside here would be like an empty dome, uh, an empty area and the and you'd have the effects of all the different colored light shining on. 
for the outside of it, you could think about how Gaudi uh, decorated his buildings using mosaics. Um, and that could be another possible thing that you could go on to design. Okay, so that is how you can actually start to use organic forms to inspire your designs, not to just copy a design exactly 